Hello everyone! This episode of Building Vilda is about the portholes. We hope you enjoy it. It's scary cutting big holes in your boat. And these have to be very, very straight, very precise. Um, rectangular shaped portholes. If they were slightly rounded, I think that would allow for a little bit of invisible misalignment. But yeah, I've measured 15 million times and drilled countless holes and uh, yeah, ready to cut. Now that the hatches are in, I've started on the portholes. This looks like a huge hole in the side of the boat and uh, it'll actually have to get a little bit bigger just to allow the frame to go in. But uh, yeah, the portholes are actually quite small or the glass section is. And these are the frames I made at the same time as I was making all the hatch frames. So that's about it. A regular vacuum bag for storing clothes. This is not professional ma material or very suitable for mass production or <laughs> anything like that but it does give pretty decent results for a, something as simple as this about four Australian dollars for one of these bags three four dollars uh, normally and yeah, that's about two, three US. That's, uh, I'd say it's worth it for the result you get. It's really hard to lay up glass this precisely without the help of this pressure. And uh, building two part molds that you can press together is not easy. Not at all. Uh, yeah, it works fairly well. Not perfect at all, but it works fairly well. And they're about five millimeters thick. This is a piece from, well, from a cutout. And uh, five millimeters is a substantial amount of glass, but it bends a little bit so to help me uh, make flat 
a really flat mounting surface for the hatches. I have uh, doubled up the thickness of the glass here. So these are 10 millimeters thick now. And they, sure, they, they can bend, but yeah, you, you have to work a little bit harder to get them to bend. So it's going to help me put them in flat and by doing that ensure uh, a watertight seal for the hatches. So, and of course the same for the large uh, large pieces. Looks like I have to do some measuring again. Huh? I wonder if I really got this cut out right. But yeah, looks right. Looks right. Mm -hmm. So, these need some sanding and some finishing, uh, some routering again, and then uh, it's time to install them. I've got an all uh, six portholes in place. Well, the reinforcements for them. So it's a pretty substantial amount of glass. It's one centimeter thick. And uh, yeah, it has really stiffened up the bulkhead here. So yeah, certainly no need for any more stiffening elements, but I do have to tie it a little bit to the hull. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, uh, yeah, flatten it to the hull, so sand off the top edges here and uh, smooth the bottom edges. This edge I'll taper off so that I can better glass it to, to the hull and then it'll be filled in uh, when fairing to, to, to this height again so that it all flows in one line. You might notice that the cutout is not perfectly, perfectly aligned, and that's fine. I have some extra material here. This line, though, uh, the bottom edge of the flat surface is perfectly straight across all three, and the same on the starboard side. So I'm really happy with that. Now I'll just uh, fair them in and uh, they should be ready for glass. On the inside I have to remove some of the filler uh, to get to the same result. And that's no fun at all. Outside is much better. <laughs> There's no pain like being alone And no hurt like leaving no No matter where I go in the cold and snow There's no pain like me I've sanded down these frames so they match the hull fairly well and uh, now all we have to do is glass them in and uh, this is going to be strong even without the glass this has added a lot of stiffness to the hull and I'm quite happy about that uh, especially with the changes coming up in the port aft uh, bathroom and <laughs> there's a bunch of holes here that I drilled out and uh, backfilled and filled and repaired with some repair weave uh, on top. So some light weave on top just to make sure it all keeps together nicely. Maybe overkill, but uh, I 
I really I don't like having holes I don't need in my boat and uh, these should be very strong and I've backfilled also all the mounting holes I needed to put in to get all of this straight and flat and yeah it's been a good day I also got all six portholes glassed in with two layers of glass. I'm pretty sure that glass is more than I actually needed to have there. But I'd rather have more glass than needed than not enough. So I'm pretty happy with that in this case so productive day off to Canberra to get a new passport so I'll be gone for a day.